All right, well, I'm at a spot that's just been tilled up. I'm actually hunting this field a couple days after the anniversary of this little skirmish that happened here in South Louisiana. And I've hit this field before. It's been about three years, so. But I've uh, been out here about 15 minutes or so and just found a piece of uh, camp lead because I'm right where soldiers were camped. I'm right along an old road and along uh, right next to an old plantation. So there's, uh, there's still stuff out here. I'm going to show you the ground, too, just to show you all the feather edge and old uh, glassware and pearlware that's out here. I'll pick that up if it has color on it. You see, there's all kind of stuff out here. I mean, feather edge, blue feather edge. I'll only take it if it's got a cool design or if it has some color on it. It makes some mosaic art out of it. But yeah, you can see little shards everywhere. I see some green feather edge over there. Let's go get it. Let's get it. I see two little chunks. It's a baby chunk. Another one. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, wow. Is it a sharps or is it a mini? It's like a mini ball. It's been chewed up pretty bad and hit by the plow quite a few times. Yeah, looks like I can see the ramrod mark. That looks like a mini based on the base. Yeah, man, I'll take it. Great signal somewhere. Right in here. It's in my hand. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, 69 caliber musket ball. Just a few feet away from that other bullet, which turned out to be an infield. Oh, wow. Incredible. It's never hunted out. This field's been pounded. People don't even hunt it anymore, but I'm trying a new spot, new strategy against this tree line. I found some new maps showing the cavalry, the Texas cavalry, posted up right over here on a flanking attack. Wow. Incredible. You gotta keep going. Sun's going down, but that's okay. Very spooky out here too of hauntings in the area. If you're from South Louisiana, you probably know where I am. I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, yeah. Let's keep going. No way! Modern? Oh no! Oh, a mini ball! I had this feeling today. Fired 58 caliber. Seen better days, but that's okay. You can see kind of the Part of the ramrod mark right there. Yeah, look at that. That little ring, that's where the ramrod shoved this 58 caliber lead round into the probably uh, Springfield rifle. Nice! All down this one little path right here. Incredible. I don't think I found this many bullets out in this field, but I had this hunch today. Amazing! Beautiful sunset in South Louisiana. I'm wrapping it up. I found a total of four bullets. This is just uh, for this field. It's pretty incredible. No brass, just some shell casings, a couple of modern bullets and a wheat scent. But the fact that I found an infield, a round ball, mini ball, and now a burn side, dimple based, that's just incredible. Four different bullets in a field that's been hunted to death. Never give up, always look for new maps. There's always stuff out there. You just gotta find it but things are never hunted out. You just have to think outside of the box and hunt in the places where you think there might not be any bullets because a lot of times these battlefields are a lot bigger than we could ever imagine, not to mention the skirmishers on the outskirts of these, uh, of these battles. So thanks for watching. Until next time, keep swinging and saving history, and y'all take care. I'm out of here. Dimple Base Burnside. Amazing.